If the Anunnaki debunks the Bible, let us now debunk reptilians. Okay, so reptilians, humanoid reptilians are said to be among us, right? Now, of course, you can't actually see them because they're supposedly a manipulation of our actual mind. But there are instances, there are instances where these reptilians actually glitch. So, like I said, it could sound as far fetched as it, it, you know, as it might be in your head, but what if I was to tell you that there are actually plenty of examples of these humanoid reptilians out there and you guys just haven't paid attention to them over the years? So, why don't we start with Justin Bieber? There was a whole big hoax about, or should I say, there was a whole big thing about him uh, being reptilian himself. Where fans had said to have seen him uh, change into a reptilian at an airport. Let me see if I can find the actual article here. So this came from, this comes from Teen Vogue, for example, right? Justin Bieber may have transformed into a giant reptile, hundreds of fans allege. Justin Bieber, no doubt, has many inviolable talents, but his coolest one by far. Uh, if it is at all true, uh, his alleged ability to turn into an enormous lizard at will, uh, well, that's it. <laughs> well, that's if you believe a headline reportedly published earlier on the Australian website, Perth Now, after hundreds of Australian fans reportedly witnessed him in his reptilian glory it says uh, BuzzFeed was the first to discover this uh, this quieting news article which has been since removed from the site ironically that like I said Justin Bieber hundreds of fans claim they saw look at this I'll bring it up for you hundreds of fans claim they saw Justin Bieber turn into a giant reptile now after what we've just looked at and after what we just read, no. Does that sound a little bit far-fetched? Okay, maybe. Justin be returning into a reptile. Yeah, okay, sounds far-fetched. Well, how then do you explain this? Ready? Remember that arraignment video and everyone was talking about his eyes had changed? All right, the first case uh, this afternoon is uh, Justin Bieber. Uh, Mr. Bieber, you are charged with the following. DUI, alcohol, or drugs. Uh, Mr. Bieber, you are charged with the All right, the first case uh, this afternoon is uh, Justin Bieber. Uh, Mr. Bieber, you are charged with the following. All right, the first case uh, this afternoon is uh, Justin Bieber. Uh, Mr. Bieber, you are charged with the following. Now, this is live CBS news here. So there were some people that actually had caught this in real time and said, wait, what the fuck did I just witness? Justin Bieber's eyes just did a whole change and slit. Now, this was following the same exact story that we just read about him changing into a giant reptile. DUI, alcohol or drugs? Uh, Mr. Bieber, you are charged with the following. DUI, El uh, Justin Bieber. Uh, Mr. Bieber, you are charged with the following. 
DUI. Now, there were many videos that actually started to circulate after he had, after that had happened because quite a lot of people were pretty much shocked at what they'd actually witnessed. And some people were saying, oh, maybe it was a TV glitch. It was just that in the third. But, of course, like I said, how do you explain the giant reptile at the Australian airport on top of this video showing up right after that and then years later down the line, he says that he somehow has hey everyone this um, disorder. Justin here. Uh... Now, I'm no brain surgeon. I'm no doctor. But does that look like some type of disorder or does that not look like a glitch happening to you? I'm thinking about the men in black when Edgar's eyes started to twitch and he lost his pupils. Hey everyone, um, Justin here. That is an entire glitch happening in someone's face. So supposedly this is the Ramsey Hunt Syndrome, but as you clearly saw in the other videos, there was no Ramsey Hunt Syndrome when his face started to glitch. Hey everyone, um, Justin here. Uh, I wanted to update you guys on what's been going on. Um, obviously, as you can probably see from my face, um, I have uh, this syndrome called uh, um, Rams. He could barely even figure out what the hell it actually is. That's the whole thing. They literally made up a syndrome because Justin literally can't stop glitching. He literally cannot stop glitching in his face. So even the MK Ultra that's used to keep him, you know, from the fans noticing him has seemed to have worn off and does not work anymore. Thus why he hasn't been able to tour. That's the true reason why Justin hasn't been able to tour. It's because that glitch is starting to affect him as far as people seeing that reptile. Now, Justin isn't the only one that has had these setbacks as far as changing on live television. So, I wanted to bring a couple of other examples of when this might have happened. Who remembers when Jimmy Johnson was on the Super Bowl? And this happened. Reptilian race Draco, Jimmy Johnson. And this is the live of when it happened at the Super Bowl. If you notice right now, you can even see the slit in his, in his left eye. You can easily see the slit right there in his left eye. Now, this was during a live broadcast, and I remember freaking the fuck out when I first saw it, because I said to myself, did anyone else just notice that? His entire face structure started to change and bulge out around that eye. This was, like I said, on live television to where his eye started to slit. He lost his entire pupil. And his reptilian form started to show. Now, of course, some of you are probably saying maybe this is an edited video. So I'll look at I'll look at another video for you guys in which this one shows you a close up of someone watching their TV. This is literally someone watching their TV and witnessing the same thing you and I did. Now, as you can see, the eyeball has now went back blue, but watch. You can literally see the slit and the difference in the eyes. See it? Then it turns back blue. But then the slit was still there. 
he literally couldn't hide that slit being there. That's why he kept twitching. And then he kept trying to shake it off, but it wasn't going away. See, his eyes went back when he shook it off. But there was a clear distinction between those bright blue eyes and this. That reptilian slit he could not stop from happening. Yes, lyricist, just like Katy Perry. So I'll give you another example of reptilian similar to what Katy per happened to Katy Perry. Think about what happened to Queen Elizabeth. Which was held in Windsor this weekend, with the monarch herself in attendance, despite sporting an extremely bloodshot left eye. Bloodshot my ass. Queen's Cup final polo match was held in Windsor this weekend, with the monarch herself in attendance, despite sporting an extremely bloodshot. Does that look like a bloodshot eye to you? Now, again, this wouldn't be the first time that the queen was even accused of supposedly being a reptilian. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard the rumors about rest in peace, the queen Elizabeth being a, from a different life form altogether. There's videos of her hand showing this for a uh, disc this formation. There's videos of, like this. There's a, this, the videos of her teeth being super sharp. We're talking about the woman here who was behind allegedly princess diana passing away there are many and i mean many instances of evil when it comes to queen elizabeth so if anybody was to be possibly reptilian my guess and definitely bet i would definitely bet it to be her but again the buck doesn't stop there so we got jimmy johnson we got justin bieber what about all the other times that supposedly someone has i don't know glitched out on camera have a couple instances where people have glitched out on camera now i implore you guys i implore you guys if you get a chance go definitely watch dark matter because dark matter actually has a few videos to where people are literally glitching out on live television. And it's something that you just can't get around. In the last 30 years, a fantastical conspiracy theory has become increasingly popular. One that may be the most ridiculous out there, or the most incredible. Supposedly, a network of reptilian creatures have infiltrated the world's government, media, and entertainment industry. So, from the mysterious identity of Michael Brownlee, to the potential real appearance of the bushes. Join us. Out of all supposed reptilian anomalies, the most popular relate to the eyes. On multiple occasions, news anchors have seemed to accidentally reveal a second set of eyes. In an interview with Wolf Blitzer, CNN correspondent Brian Todd was filmed blinking furiously before viewers noticed a flash of hidden pupils. Yeah, what about the cost, Brian? Uh, is that at all a consideration? It's a big consideration. Just about every former officer I spoke with says the cost of outfitting each combat troop with a tracking device is one of the main reasons they don't have them right now. So when you speak uh, with... But others say if they can deal with the cost and pay for all of this, it is worth it not only to track missing troops. Those skeptics have suggested that this is nothing more than video compression. Others have questioned why the error only sticks to the eyes, rather than the entire frame. Bizarrely, the onset of blinking before the reveal of the second eyes appears to be a common occurrence. Both Fox News journalist Sharon Breams and this unidentified Spanish reporter have suffered similar issues. So could the truth be in the eyes? 
on a standard edition of the Fox on KKTV, an LA-based reporter reads the latest story about celebrities. Yet once more, the anchor starts to transform, until, unheard by the audience, the producers scream at her to stop presenting. The camera then cuts to someone else, and when it returns, the reporter is back to normal. The Globe asked a doctor to assess certain celebrities' risk factors and make her analysis. For example, she says, it appears Brittany is suffering from a major psychological disorder, and uh, that it might actually be bipolar could be that. The doc then predicts how much longer they'll live. <laughs> Sick, I know, but I also know you want to hear what she has to say. The doc says that these people... As you can see here, she told it to turn her head. The reason why she was turning her head, you can literally look at her entire face started to bump up and glitch out. And she was starting to realize that the producers in the back were yelling at her, hey, hey, something's going on with your fucking face. Can we pan the camera off you? Stop presenting. Shut up for a second. Don't get help or straighten up fast. I haven't. And she kept glitching. You read any of this? Brittany won't make it to the age 30. Lindsay won't see 20. Does that look like. I don't know. Does that look like your TV's messing up to you? That looks like someone's face is literally breaking out or just glitching out right in front of you. And Michael Jackson has no more than five years left. At the other end. A and then it got really bad to where she started to look damn near clean on. Angelina's going to have a long, healthy life, and so we're, we'll join. Then it got really bad to where she damn near transformed on live television, and the cameraman pretty much had to just pan away from this entire ordeal. George Bush and Nicole Richie. If you're already, in, if you're not already, as you can see right here, the confusion on the young lady's face right after. She noticed that she was glitching out. She couldn't understand what she was witnessing, but she noticed that she was glitching out. I, what, I hear yelling in the booth. Are they yelling at me? Oh. The I hear yelling in the booth. Are they yelling at me? Yes, they're yelling at you. Wait, I read that. Or you did great. Okay. But when, if you're hey, not, wait, excuse me. Excuse, I could hear Lisa give her, yelling. Give from, her a break. She didn't read it earlier. She doesn't know the story. Yelling at me oh, for the way I read that. Or, you did great. Okay. But when, if you're hey, not, wait, excuse me. Excuse, both. I could, Look at that. Even, even he started to get it. Hey, something happened right just now. We can't say what happened just now, but yeah. Here, Lisa give her, yelling. Give from, her a break. She didn't read it earlier. She doesn't know the story. It's okay. Just stop it. She's okay. I could hear you. Yeah. Some expert who doesn't know any of them making comments on how long they're at live well, than we did on Iraq today, okay? <laughs> Are you trying to make me feel bad? I don't have to. You're right. Interestingly, throughout this clip, viewers have claimed to hear the anchor both hiss and make a slight guttural sound off camera. However, skeptics maintain that since the anchor's clothes appear to transform as well, this all but confirms it's a technical error. Believers though dismiss this, arguing that the clothes are part of the disguise. Regardless, she isn't the only Fox News reporter to allegedly transform into a reptilian. And the other Well, notice how it's also Fox News. I'll just uh, leave that there, for, uh, if you will. Notice how it's also Fox News that it happens to. Atlanta branch of the network, fellow news anchor Dale Russell, displayed a similar transformation. Now again, we want to stress from what we observed and what the sheriff says, a small number of motorcyclists are causing all of the problems. But the problems are serious. Emergency responses are stretched thin. Weekends are spent cleaning up motorcycle wrecks by the sheriff's deputies, and some tourists and locals say the speeders have taken over. Now we mentioned last night stories go around the mountains about the winner-take-all races. Well, the owner of the website who advertises those races told me So either Fox has a pretty shitty cameraman or pretty shitty technology or the same exact thing that was happening to that other news anchor is starting to happen to this gentleman to where they are glitching out on camera. But then you have to ask yourselves, why isn't it happening to the other newscasters and it's just happening to this guy on the camera? He is transforming and shape-shifting live on television. It's all just a joke. He says it doesn't really happen. He says he put them on his website 
just to annoy the local sheriff, Russ. And they basically are saying some of the same things over and over here, and other people cause problems, the bicyclists, the cars that you see going over the double yellow lines, not staying in their lane. And some have acknowledged to me that, yeah, these guys... And then they tried to pan back to them, but then it got bad again. As you can see, if we look again, if we look close, the guy, the other cameraman started to say, hey, this has told me we it's all that. just a joke. He says it doesn't really happen. He says he put them on his website. Just you see this guy's face. He's like, oh, this doesn't look too good to annoy the local sheriff, Russ. And they basically are saying some of the same things over and over here, and other people cause problems, the bicyclists, the cars that you see going over the double yellow lines, not staying in their lane. And some have acknowledged to me that, yeah, these guys are driving really fast, but the ones that are really causing the problems are the inexperienced drivers getting up there on powerful bikes that they're really not ready to drive yet. And that's... Again, notice how it only happens to the guy, but it doesn't happen to the, the other newscasters. Kind of the main thing that we're hearing from them. Further, in what is likely just a coincidence, but an odd one nonetheless, Russell shares the same name with Dale Russell, a paleontologist who theorized that if dinosaurs hadn't gone extinct, they would have eventually evolved into this humanoid creature. As seen, this life form has the appearance of a typical reptilian. Is it therefore possible that the name is a knowing joke? Bizarrely, it seems that many fox anchors are alleged to be reptilians. One in particular, Michael Brownlee, a former reporter for the LA branch, has a history of potentially transforming, a point that seemingly rejects the theory it's due to compression issues. However, the most infamous transformation came when the cameraman, apparently aware of Brownlee's emerging real form, turned the camera away for no reason. Now, you, we talk about the mother's arrest, but the mother says that her 16-year-old daughter, the victim in this case, was also arrested here back on September 18th. Now, keep in mind, this is the family story, their account of what they see happened here on campus earlier this month. Unfortunately, we weren't able to reach the school district for comment, but keep in mind, a mother and daughter baffled over how a celebration with cake... Notice how he had to leave the camera. He left the camera because it got so bad on that left side that his entire face was literally starting to change and he couldn't stop it. Even the skin started to change on his nose. And he couldn't do anything about that one. Whilst promoting her book, Jenna Bush, daughter of former US President George W. Bush, appeared to constantly shapeshift. Further, viewers noted that the anchors interviewing Jenna attempted to let her know of this mistake, repeatedly discussing how she changed. Talking with teenagers and students about Anna and, and the other kids I met in Latin America, and so far it's been really inspiring. And and, and not unpleasant. I mean, well, we'll change all that. No, we're not going to change all that. Don't change it, please. We, we will right. not change okay. it. We will not. She obviously people, hasn't seen the show. People have been nice, and they're not attacking your dad or his policies to you. Well, I met with my job. I work for UNICEF, which is an amazing organization that works in over 150 countries. And my job was to meet with teenagers who were living in exclusion, who were living in um, extreme poverty or living with HIV and right. The skin looks like it literally starts to scale up and the person's nose even starts to deform into the reptilian look. Yes, it does look like something out of species lyricist. I definitely think of men in black there like i said but the thing is when it comes to shapeshifters they're not necessarily in like the edgar zip up on the skin form they're more like this and the whole reason why their face starts to glitch out is because the manipulation that you're starting to see that you had originally seen is starting to wear off and they can't actually you know they can't stop that from happening. Sometimes it just actually happens to where they start to glitch out and the reptilian form starts to actually show in front of people. And that's why they're able to wear it off and their skin just goes right back to normal. It's because the reason why it's a shapeshifter, it's manipulation of the human mind. You're actually seeing a real person with real skin that looks like you and me, but underneath that actual vessel and shell would be this creature here. Their stories. Listen to their stories and write them for UNICEF. And so, I mean, I... Oh, hers got terrible. Obviously learned so much from... 
hers got so bad. Like, I don't even understand why the, the cameraman started to keep this one on. Hers got ridiculous. These kids, I learned from Anna in particular, who has lived an extremely difficult life. I learned. Um, she literally transformed back into her reptilian form right in front of us. To live each day to its fullest. Doing any kind of missionary work, I think, really changes a person. And you and your sister had a little bit, I mean, you guys weren't Paris Hilton, but you had a little bit of a <laughs> reputation as party girls. Do you think this changed you? You know, so it didn't change my personality necessarily, but I taught for two years after um, the University of Texas, after graduating, and then went and on then to Latin America. Again. And, and um, you know, of course, I've grown up. It's been seven years since <laughs> people had that image of me. Um, but yeah, I mean, listening to their stories was it was incredible. And Je it Jenna, when me. you see this, when you not only listen to their stories, but you get involved and you write about it mm -hmm. as well, does it change how you look, you're thinking about how government should run? Still, Jenna isn't the only alleged reptilian in the Bush family. In one interview, her grandfather and fellow president, George Bush Sr., seemed to transform for a split second. As noted, his pupil briefly became slit, whilst his eye itself looked green. In uh, Colombo, in Sri Lanka, it, it's full. You literally, I, I don't know how they're going to get all the crates. Could this prove that the Bushes are reptilians? And if so, does this mean that similar creatures have been running the US government? What do you think? Well, I think this, right? I think we have enough proof here. And if this isn't going to be the icing on the cake for you guys, I have here is a clip of the lady Zana, who is said to be an actual extraterrestrial herself. And from the planet, get this, Nibiru and is said to be Anunnaki. Now this is in Russian, so of course you can't hear what's being said, but watch for yourselves here. Жан, по просьбе наших друзей, моргни, пожалуйста. Не, не так. Моргни. Спасибо. Надеюсь, вы I'll slow it down for you in case you didn't catch it. It's about the 14 second mark where it happens. But her eyes literally go into slits. If you want, you we can you can big it up. But it's called the Russian woman Zana with alien eyes. Now, if you look up Zana, just Z H A N A, you'll literally see nothing but videos of her and Anunnaki. Videos of the got the gentleman next to him, next to her, saying, "Hey, do you want to tell the 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 reporter where we come from?" Or what the purpose of humans are? That's literally what her interviews are about. Is her being an extraterrestrial. And there's numerous videos and occasions to where her eyes do that on purpose. She isn't trying to hide it at all. She lets people know up front. Hey, I'm a fucking alien. So, again. If you wanted to know... If reptilians or humanoids or shapeshifters are real or not, you look no further than these videos here. There is many, 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 and I mean many, examples of these shapeshifters and them changing right in front of you. There's actually an interview. I wish I could have uh, found it on uh, YouTube, but I probably have to dig through my archives and my email because I saved the, like, the Illuminati wife that they took down. I noticed they was going to take down the Illuminati wife one day and she was whistleblowing basically all the CIA information. But anyway, there's actually a video uh, of an interview where there are two shapeshifters in the interview that they've taken down recently. 
And in the interview, they actually demonstrate how they're able to shapeshift in front of people. And they do the sim- They do a very similar thing to where you saw what uh, was happening with the newscasters and their faces were glitching out and whatnot. They do a very similar thing to that, basically. <clears throat> but they go all the way into it. And the camera kind of stays on them and you actually see the actual transformation. But like I said, I have to go into my actual archives to find that video for you guys. Now, there are other instances of when someone was said to be an alien. Okay. So let's think about Obama's supposed security, right? Or actually, let's look at this uh, anchor here. And good evening, I'm Aaron Burnett. Out what happened to- Someone mentioned earlier Katy Perry, right? This is the Katy Perry syndrome. Aaron Burnett's eye. New tonight, the anchor woman's eye looked China, infected, in half space, open and, and swollen, bill, and she was in obvious distress during her CNN out. show last night. Aaron tried to mask the problem uh, you know, by looking down and so turning to an extreme it. profile. Uh, her guests expressed sympathy. And by the way, your eye doesn't look forces and protecting the population and minimizing civilian casualties have long been a cornerstone of the counterinsurgency doctrine civilian cases have long been a cornerstone of the have long been a cornerstone of the counterinsurgency doctrine civilian casualties have long been a cornerstone of the counterinsurgency doctrine again Many, many examples of it. But there was also this Secret Service agent that was supposed to, uh, was supposedly to be um, Obama's security at one point. He's actually been um, around for quite some time now. But I want to show you this here. This is supposedly uh, uh, Obama's alien security guard. And this made headlines so bad that they literally had to take this down from quite a few different places um i know youtube does not play this video at all like this video got banned and the uh the channel actually got terminated in the original article from what i've seen but take a look at this one right here for example Conspiracy theorists have hit a new high after again accusing the White House of hiding evidence of aliens, this time right out in public. While President Obama was recently... Man, if I, let me take myself down for just a second. That way you guys can see it a little bit easier. Recently ...speaking to a U.S.-Israeli cooperation group. One of his bodyguards was spied on video looking a bit odd. A series of odd features on his head, face, plus a very strange behavior and creepy movements. Suggest something else. Suggest what exactly? Is he an actual reptilian humanoid? Is he one of the Anunnaki? Is he a tall grey bioandroid, or what? Well with that creepy colour filter who could argue? But due the low lighting in half the amphitheater, he would pass unnoticed or regarded as a normal human being by the crowd. Unnoticed except maybe by all the TV cameras. Though unable to discuss the identity of Secret Service agents, the White House has responded in kind. National Security Council official Caitlin Hayden remarked that any alien security programs were most probably cut during the recent sequester. She also suggested that Area... But his entire ear left. 51 should be consulted for further information. Conspiracy theorists were quick to point out that that wasn't exactly a denial. Did his shape-shifting device fail during Obama's speech, in the middle of an amphitheater crowded with people? Or has the outer edge of the internet struck again? Dallas Baird for Hmm. News Limited. Like I said, you literally saw where his ear was completely gone on his skull. And his mouth had completely left lips gone ear gone now here's a video of that same exact kid or should i say same same exact kid excuse me same exact security guard look at this video that's sweeping the internet it's the he's obviously got some type of 
thing going on with his hand there, but the hand almost looks fake. So people thought he had a fake hand. Of course, he's a Secret Service agent walking with Trump. So you're thinking, hey, of course, he's got Red probably... Oh, there was, that article was still there. Come on. Come on. Come up. Thank you. So, like I said, he's still... He's walking there, and you think he's got a fake hand or whatever. But... Of course, you think Secret Service agent, he's got a fake hand. He's probably got a gun underneath that hand, right? Well, keep, keep a gracious watching. gracious parade held in Washington last week. Check out the Secret Service agent. His hand isn't moving. To some observers, it seems to be a prosthetic hand known as a tactical fake arm. Is it possible that his real hand is holding a gun tucked inside his coat? That's what some are saying. However, some people are debunking the theory, citing moments like this, when the agent appears to move his hands and later closes the limousine door. His fingers are clearly moving. So was that a fake hand? Or was that a humanoid hand starting to act up? And furthermore, that guy looked pretty damn tall if you ask me. He looked pretty damn tall, Nephilim tall, if you ask me. But see, this is the thing that, like I said, would be dismissed as far-fetched or, you know, as was said earlier, science fiction. Yes, the bloodlines are very real. The bloodlines are very real. And it would seem that these bloodlines, you know, lead all the way back to the reptilian race. Now, there is said to be a cave. I think I have. Oh, there's even another one right here. I forgot. Uh, you are lying. And this is supposed to be a rocker. Look, a rocker shows his reptilian eyes in Paris. Pretty much, uh, this happened uh, in 2017. And as you clearly saw, he was regular before that. But then all of a sudden, again, we can't hide these guys. We can't hide this. Now, there's supposed to be this cave called Sun Dung, which is supposed to be the largest cave in the world. But get this, this largest cave in the world is actually home to the reptilians. Now, I'm not making this up, but now I can't, of course, play this actual clip. So I'm going to show you what the actual cave looks like as they're talking about it here. But this clip actually comes from the clip actually comes from uh, the History Channel. So that's why. But this is actually the Song Dung Cave. In the where they are said to be the reptilians and other humanoids like it it looks like something out of star wars it looks like something out of uh what's that movie avatar that's what i think of when i see this cave and i notice if you if you think about all the science science fiction video games have you noticed that a lot of them always come up to these types of caves that looks very similar to this now like i said i'm gonna play this clip here history channel of course will will uh copyright me so longer hokan discovered Quan bin province vietnam 1991 Longer Hokan discovers a mysterious entrance to a hidden mountain cave obscured by dense jungle overgrowth. The cliffs leading down to the entrance are so steep he cannot explore it further, but he notes its location. Nearly two decades later, the British Cave Research Association finally explores the cave. What the team discovers is astounding. It is the largest underground chamber on the planet. It's not just a cave. It's an actual world in Vietnam. Inside this cave, it's 40 stories high. There's actually an ancient forest. 
It's got flowing water, not just a puddle or a stream, but an actual river. Inside the cave is an entire growing ecosystem. And it's so deep that it looks like it's an entrance to a whole other reality. This incredible subterranean realm, called the Songdung Cave, is estimated to be roughly three million years old. It runs through the earth for nearly six miles, and numerous areas where the cave ceiling has collapsed allow sunlight to enter, resulting in the growth of trees and other vegetation. But according to area residents, what's most notable about Songdung Cave are the strange creatures that are believed to dwell within it. Local residents describe seeing reptilian-type humanoid beings emerging from the Songdong Cave. And they believe that they actually live deep inside this cave. What's fascinating about this is that these reptilian-type humanoid beings are similar to the seraphim or the winged serpents in Kabbalistic tradition. The seraphim are said to have gone and lived in the inner earth, according to Kabbalistic teaching. Is it possible that reports of reptilians at Sondong Cave are encounters with beings from inner earth? While it may sound too incredible to be true, there have been reports that during the Vietnam War in the 1970s, U.S. soldiers encountered what they described as upright lizards inhabiting caves. And accounts of reptilian beings existing in underground caverns can be found all across the globe, even on the other side of the world, in Cusco, Peru. Throughout Peru and around Cusco particularly, there are many, many stories of a tunnel system that has something to do with serpent deities, which they call the Amaru there. The Peruvian authorities themselves decided it was too dangerous for people to go into these tunnels. So they looked for all of the entrances they could around Cusco, and they sealed them up. And this is a well-known story within Peruvian history. While there have been many reports from around the world of human-like reptilians, there is another inner earth entity described in the Zohar that is even more commonly witnessed in modern times. According to Zoharic literature, there are beings inside the earth having large black eyes and a nose that leaves only two dark holes on the face. Now that corresponds to things that we've seen about, heard about these, uh, for lack of a better word, ETs. There is a lot of evidence that these beings that we think are coming from another planet are not coming from another planet. They're coming from inside our own Earth. The black-eyed entities, commonly referred to as greys by ufologists, are the beings most often reported by alleged alien abductees, many of whom claim to have been taken aboard saucer-shaped craft. Could it be? that the so-called flying saucers, so often reported in modern times, are not coming from outer space, but inner Earth. According to some ancient astronaut theorists, this notion is supported by numerous accounts of UFOs that are seen disappearing into the landscape, and sometimes even flying directly into mountains. <laughs> 